have another instrumental You oughta give me two thumbs up just for this intro It's Big Fit TV Welcome to my world What's up guys, it's your man Big Vic and I'm back in the building with a new video And today what I want to show you guys is how you can create a hit trap production So let's get into it I, I, I went into this track pretty much using all of, not all of them, but a few of the new synthesizers that came in propeller head reasons new reason 10 so we got europa you see europa here we have pangea and europa again so basically i'm finding that europa pangea and uh what is the other one the other one the other one the other one is Oh my goodness, the other one is uh, Clang. They all have, and Humana, they all have sounds that work excellent for trap production, trap soul production, all of those different genres, well, both of those different genres, or hip hop. So what I, was, what I did, I pretty much went in Europa and only used the first engine here. I didn't even turn all the engines on, as you can see here, to create this particular sound instrument i started with a what is a fact lead and i kind of went in here and just shaped this sound the way i wanted it to sound and i wanted something uh just like a little haunting type feel so this is what i was able to come up with using europa this first sound let's check it out So if you listen to if I turn on the second and third engine, how it completely just changes up the sound. But this is that's not the sound I was going for. A lot of bottom in that. So I took turned both of those engines off, kind of went in here, came down here and messed with the compressor, reverb and the distortion and just messed around with a few of those knobs in there. Also left it in poly mode and I played with this a little bit let's check it out so that was my first instrument that came out of Europa so let's check out matter of fact I'm gonna jump right into the drums so I'm going to bring the drums in next. Now, one thing about the drums is I was able to create create this bouncy feel. And a lot of people, I think a lot of people sleep on the re-drum. But the re-drum is definitely still one of my favorite drum machines to go to um, to create production and reason. So um, let's check out the track. Now, let me get to the hi-hats. I always use this formula for hi-hats. You see how I have soft and medium in between? Soft and medium in between. But Because what that does, it just creates this bouncy rhythm for me. Like no matter what tempo I use, when I go with medium and soft hi-hats, it automatically gives my drums that bouncy feel to it. So let's check out the drums and listen to the hi-hats. So that was the drums so far, and I actually didn't even drop. Uh, I didn't. I actually didn't even separate uh, my drums for this particular track. But of course, I will um, when I actually do like a final, final mix on this. 
So everything's just running through one channel right now, one mixer channel. So that's the drums. Let's get into the next instrument. And we went back to Pangea. And in this instrument, we use the grand, struck grand piano natural. I turned the reverb on this, turned up the reverb on this. Um, I don't think I did too much more to it other than turn on my reverb. So let's check out this piano that I added. Actually, I thought that was a piano. That's the actually, that's the Kinder Clav Clavier. Clavier. Kind Kinder Clavier. Let's check that out. But it still says Struck Grand Piano Natural. So let's go. Notice the instruments are just really, really simple. Like there's nothing like, like difficult here. Because most uh, trap tracks are pretty simple. So let's do that again. All right, so let's get into the next instrument. Next instrument we have oh, is from Pangea again. And this act, this is actually the struck grand piano this time, so. So let's check this out. And what I did was kind of, I needed something to like jump out in the track. And this was the instrument I needed, so let's check it out. So what I did with this next instrument, we went back into Europa and I actually turned all three engines on for this one. And I played with the modifier here and we came down here and actually turned the loop on and I messed with the beat sync, turned on the reverb, also messed with the compressor just a little bit and <clears throat> turned on the portal portal mental here for just I turned that on and if you look at this preset here the envelopes are going kind of up and up and down up over and down and that gave me I'm going to solo this instrument real quick just so you can hear what it added to the piano now, I promise you, this instrument did not sound like this before I went ahead and did some tweaking and messed with the modifiers, the wave, uh, the harmonics, the spectral filter. Like, I just went ahead and messed with a few, turned a few knobs till I found the sound that I wanted. And it gave me something and like, really, that sound is incredible right there. Because that did not come, that's not a preset. Like, I actually had to create that sound in here. So, let's check that out again. Matter of fact, let's bring in... The other instruments with that with that piano with that on top of it so let's check that out Now, basically, all this is missing right now is the 808. Now, let me show you something with this 808. <clears throat> I actually went ahead and created a nice glide, or some people call it a slide, but some people call it glide. 
um, with the 808. And this is what I got with the 808. I'm going to solo this 808 really quickly. Let's check it out. So let's bring that in with the 808. And notice the track is not like, it's not really a difficult track right here. Like, so it's really, I kept most of this production simple. So it's like not hard to follow to create, you know, just simple sounds. Because a lot of trap beats, once again, have very, very subtle instruments coming in here and there. So let's check this out with the 808 added. And it actually just fills up the track to where I really don't need nothing else but a chorus, you know, a, a hook to level everything out. So let's, let's check out the whole track. So what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and bring in the chorus. So what I did was just came up with a really quick chorus just to kind of throw in here and kind of just show you that I left enough room with the instruments. So all that I would have to do is just drop in a chorus and that chorus will actually be that, that additional instrument that I would need to kind of, you know, sew the track up you know what i'm saying so let's go ahead play this chorus that i added and as you can see it fills the track up completely so with that chorus and the verses this track basically will be done you know other than mixing and all that good stuff mixing and mastering it and you know putting the verses in between so let's check it out you know maybe some changes you know, some change ups here and there which it's not really hard to do once you have the basis of the track com completed. So let's check it out. This is, I'm gonna go ahead and play the hook all the way through. Let's go from the top. That's pretty much a hit just 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 waiting to be released to just just drop a verse on that and that track is ready to go you know what I'm saying we can basically just put some uh put some verses in there put some drops some change ups here and there you know what I'm saying put a nice mix on it and and release it <laughs> pretty much you know the hook got a nice little catchy feel to it you know, people can sing along to it, which is important, you know, when 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 putting a chorus together, you know. So just wanted to give you guys a quick, quick example of just certain elements that you can use to put, you know, simple smash hits together. It doesn't take a long time to put these trap beats together like that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe you picked up a nugget or two. Let me know down below in the comments, you know, what y'all think. We coming back with some more videos. Stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that button. It's your man, Big Vic. Peace, love, always hustle, never stop growing. Peace.
million dollar scheme. Pockets on Bolo, ain't worried about a team. I just wrote solo. My bag like the Nash right, I go local. Better act right, have my cash right, or I don't know you.